She don't play and she my type She got brains and I'm top type She that lady She gon' dance and gon' touch her phone She call it this my Hi guys, it's Leonie here and welcome to my channel. So I'm quickly going to show you one of the ways I style my hair. So I'm going to use these pins to pin down the wig to my mannequin head. And I do have a lace frontal on this wig so I just pin it down to the mannequin so that it doesn't shift around when I'm styling it. As you can see, this hair really doesn't have any life to it right now. It's quite dull, it's messy and it's quite tangled right now because I haven't styled it for a few days. So I just brush through it to get all the knots and the kinks out of it firstly. Next, I'm gonna use this tail comb and just simple tap water um, I'm gonna spray this onto my lace frontal and this is just to make sure that my part is straight so as you can see I went for a middle part um, to style my hair on in this video and yeah um, the water just makes it easier for the lace frontal to move around because when it's dry it doesn't stay flat to where you want to put it this wig does consist of three bundles and a frontal and the hair is actually quite thick so I do um, separate the hair into different parts to make my life easier and I use clips and hair bands to do this. Now guys, I have used so many oils and treatments in the past with my weaves and nothing has ever actually done the job apart from this bottle here. This is a Moroccan oil treatment and I swear it is the best thing ever. So it, my hair, after I put this in my hair, it looks brand new as if I just bought it out of the packet and it just is so soft and as you can see, it's much easier to brush, to brush through. So I'm going to use this um, curling wand by Vidal Sassoon. I really don't remember um, the price or anything. I will try and link it below. And I use this heat protectant by L'Oreal. And I will link everything in the description bar below as usual. So yeah, I'm just going to split the hair again. Um, because I'm going to do the bottom half um, of that section first. So I take like medium quantity, I don't know how to say it, I take like medium amounts of hair um, and that's, yeah, that's the amount that I'm going to take throughout my whole hair to curl it, to put it on, to wrap it around the curling wand. So yeah, usually, I don't know why I went like, I don't know why I did it like this because I don't actually curl my hair that way. I usually curl it as if I'm moving away from the barrel, not towards the barrel. I will, I'll, I'll point it out in the video. <laughs> and when I keep it on the wand, the hair by the way, I keep it on there for like five to six seconds, not too long because the barrel is actually on quite a high heat. Um, not on the highest, but it is quite high. And the steam that's coming off the barrel is not my hair burning, it's the heat protectant and the oil. And here I'm just showing you um, how the hair curled with the wand with my vlog camera because it was easier to move around. Right, so this is how I actually curl the hair. So I go on top of the barrel as if I'm moving away from the barrel. Yeah, and then it brings out curls like this, which is what I'm after. I don't know what I was doing before. So yeah, I think from here, from now, I'm gonna keep doing the same technique. And you might see me doing like a cupping gesture um, in between like some of the curls that I do. And this is so that the, um, the hair can just mold into that shape and that the um, curl doesn't just drop. And I do go over some of the hair that um, I did before because yeah, I was doing a weird technique. I think it's because I'm filming it. That's why I'm doing rubbish. But usually, yeah, I'd be fine. 
by the way when using the moroccan oil you need the smallest amount because it is quite thick um but it's not heavy on your hair um if if you use the right amount so i i literally use a drop and no more because yeah then it'll make your hair too heavy and too greasy and we don't want that By the way guys, if you don't use like curling wands and straighteners or whatever very frequently, don't be bad like me, use gloves because yeah, you can burn yourself and yeah, you can get hurt really badly. I've had burns in the past but because I, I, I use them quite a lot now so I can't be bothered to wear gloves or go find them. Once I'm pretty much done curling the hair, I just, you know, finger comb it. Um, I try to flatten it down so that it looks natural, or as natural as possible. And I brush down the curls because I want them to be loose and wavy. I don't want them to be tight curls. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you want me to show you the different kind of styles, like half up, half down, or anymore i can do that just let me know or i probably will do it in the near future so yeah that's it for now um so this is how it turned out um yeah so don't forget to like comment share subscribe please don't forget to subscribe we're almost at 100 subscribers and yeah and i'll speak to you in my next video see you guys bye